second here. Okay. I have no idea what happened there. Um, apparently the microphone was muted and it also lost connection for a few seconds. Um, but it looks like it should be back. It looks like it's streaming. Everything looks good. Um, but yeah, this is going to be part three of Super Mario RPG starting in the Moleville Mountains. Um, I don't think we'll have to... Uh, I'll let the, I'll let the um, intro go up until we get to Moleville Mountains. So you can get a little insight on stuff that we've already done. Um, that was obviously Act 1, Mushroom Kingdom, uh, where we beat Mac, got the star, the first star piece. Um, that was the very first boss, Hammer Bros, Midas River Course, where we got the frog coins, the flowers, the barrel jumping events, got the coins, the Karo Sewers, not the Karo Karo, just the Karo Sewers, um, where we fought Belom, Tadpole Pond, where we found out the shocking truth that uh, Mallow is actually not a frog. Go figure. There's the Karo Sewers again. Fought the ghosts. Uh, that scene that never happens. But we got Gino in the forest. Forest maze, I should say. Pipe vaults before we got to Yoster Island. That has yet to happen right there. There's Yoster Island. Where we met Yoshi. Won the race, finally. And here is where we will continue. This is the inside of Mulvo Mountain. So... And there's Mulvo Mountain itself. Awesome. So... Let's get it started. I went ahead and saved in the Rosetown Inn, so that's where we'll go ahead and continue off from. Gotta jump on the bed, of course. Gotta jump on the people. Gotta jump on the dolls. And the furniture. Why not? I... okay. This will become open later in the game, so... Alright, we're done with this part of the world. Uh, just out of curiosity... That's the wrong one. Just out of curiosity, let's see what the, uh, the guy Frog Fuchsia says. Since he's so wise... Looks like your help is needed in Moville. Go and see what you can do. Okay. Wait. I already got that. Okay, so there's no new songs. German frog, yeah. There's a German, uh, there's another German character later in the game, too. Um, he even, like, his text, you actually read it kind of like in a German accent. So, let's start with Moleville. This is part three. Uh, again, Super Mario RPG part three. We're going to go ahead and check out Moleville, see what's going on here. So, yeah, the inn is right by the front, de uh, front door, so we'll go ahead and save there. Mario is level 9, Mal is level 9, Gino is level 7, not too bad. Let's talk to everybody here. Diana went to the mountain with little mites, but a star crashed, yeah, crashed into the mountain and now they be trapped. I think these guys are supposed to be African American or black. Uh, and now they be trapped. 
It's almost Ebonics. It's 10 coins for a night. Y'all staying the night? Yes. And they speak with slang, uh, southern slang, southern US slang, so... They're either southern rednecks, or they are black, uh, in my opinion. Item shop. It's an emergency. Dinah's trapped in the mines. Must be true. That's the second time we've heard it. Come on in. Don't be shy. Everyone's up on the mountain, but I'm stuck mine in the store. So what you need? Let's buy one of everything, shall we? Punch glove. That's for Mario. Finger shot for Gino. Symbols for Mallow. And then mega shirt, cape, and pants. Um, let's sell a mu two mushrooms and two honey syrups and replace them with two mid mushrooms and two maple syrups. And we'll go ahead and equip the new items we got. Uh, punch glove goes to Mario. Finger shot goes to Gino. Symbols go to Mallow. And then shirt pants and cape and we can go ahead and sell all this stuff since we're not going to use it anymore cha-ching alright a pretty star crashed down into the mountain I wanted to see it but my ma told me it was too dangerous Ma said she'd go and find out what's happening, but she sure is taking her sweet time. Yeah, these guys are rednecks. But, hey, Master Swag, how's it going, man? Master Swag794 is in the building, or in the chat, rather. Thanks for showing up, buddy. Appreciate it. Um, you ever played Super Mario RPG before? I'm going to go ahead and give you a shout out in the chat. And I'm also going to re enable the setting to not pause it whenever the window is inactive. Awesome. We got another viewer. Sorry, I'm new to Twitch and there's not a lot of traffic in here, so. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. You get new people. My mom and pa are helping out on the mountain. Yeah, um, Master Swag, that's pretty cool. Uh, this is my favorite game of all time, so I've beat it, I would say, 16, 15 or 16 times. Check it out, it's Bowser. He looks a little upset. Last time we saw him, he was in Roseway, and he had more people. Bowser, most of our allies have run off. What will we do? We've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Shut up, all of you. I'm the biggest, baddest brute around, and don't you forget it. But if Mario hears that I've been kicked out of my own castle, my reputation will be ruined. Even I have an image to keep up, you know. Let's show him who's the boss around here. Hey Arnold is in this game. His meta his head is made out of a potato though. Uh I don't know what you mean by that. Star dropped into the mountain and ki and trapped some kids inside. To make things worse, will one of the men folk be stuck inside too. Please Mario, you gotta help us. What's happening up there? Is she still working up a sweat? Yeah, and so are the men. Everyone's digging and digging. I can't keep up with them. The hut to the right. <laughs> That's actually a bow. Uh, a hair bow, which you can see if you talk to him from the side. 
But yeah, it does kind of look like his hair. Uh, that's funny. As you can tell, these are moles. This is Moleville, after all. So That's awesome. Hey, Arnold. I would not have even have picked that up, so... Alright. You can jump up here. Check it out. The men folk are doing their best from the inside. I'm digging in from the outside. We gotta help them folks out. So there's people trapped inside. Let's check it out. Oh dear, I sure hope the kids are okay. I know how you're feeling, but moping around here ain't gonna help a thing. That's what I told her. But I don't know if I'd be feeling any different if I was her. We're getting nowhere fast. We'll never reach the kids at this rate. See that up there? That's the old entrance to the mines. But we can't reach it anymore. If only that fellow, uh, Mario, were here, he could reach that in a heartbeat. Why? Well, let's speak of the devil. Well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle, if it ain't him in the flesh. Mario, you're a lifesaver. Mario, have you had or heard the news? Sure have. Mario, will you help rescue them? Uh, of course. Thanks, Mario. Well, there's the entrance up there. Here, hop on our shoulders. Um, when did I start streaming? Um... Are you referring to this individual stream right here, or when did I start on Twitch, or when did I start this game? Uh, to answer all three of those, I started uh, streaming for the first time ever uh, yesterday. Uh, I played The Legend of Zelda, the original one on the NES, for about an hour or so. I played Super Mario RPG yesterday. Um, I played for almost three hours, and then I played, uh, I started streaming today, I streamed for about two hours, um, I beat the part two of Super Mario RPG, and now, I just now started, uh, part three, the one you're watching, about 13 minutes ago, so, you really have not missed much. Awesome. Uh, so... Let's get it on! Alright, so as you can see, we're in an, a cave, or a mine, rather, underground. Yeah, uh, Master Swag, I think you're right. Um, there was one chick in here. I think she said she started yesterday too, or like the day before or something. Um, it's pretty cool. It's also the uh, first of the year, so... Oh sweet man, you followed me. Nice. Do you uh, stream at all, or...? Actually, it doesn't matter if you stream. I'm going to go ahead and follow you, too. Uh, what made me start now? New Year's, yes. And it also uh, has to do with the fact that I have never streamed before. As well as um, I'm going to be building a new computer soon, so I'll be able to stream newer games. Can't do that yet, but soon-ish, like in a month or two. Uh, or three. Um... And that I've never played a Zelda game. I think I already said that, I don't know, but... I've never played a Zelda game. Uh, I'm going to be streaming all of them, so I'll be playing all of them for the first time. Um, so yeah. All kinds of new stuff. New year, new games, new stream. It'll be fun. New computer. Ah, That sucks. But yeah, do you stream, uh, Master Swag?
you want to start streaming but you don't know how. Um, nothing wrong with that. It's actually pretty easy. Uh, I have never streamed before, yesterday, uh, but I looked it up and I found their... Yes, OBS. Um, that's a free software. It's open source too, so... Um, yeah, that's actually what I'm using. Um, it's very simple, actually. What I have... Um, you can actually add on layers, so... Um, I added... I've got three layers going on. I've got the game, which is the square to the left. Uh, that is running from an emulator. Then I've got... Uh, Firefox window open and I cropped that to show the chat which you can see in the video and then I added the logo of the game on top of that so it's actually fairly simple um, as long as you've got an, a decent computer um, it's got a good processor good RAM and a fairly decent internet connection uh, yeah it's extremely simple man I was surprised actually because I tried a while back like a long time ago using uh, the program X split and that was really clunky and didn't go so well but this is good I highly recommend it any chance I'll get a webcam in the mix in the future it's funny you asked that um, I was just talking to my fiance about that earlier uh, and I was telling her, I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of people who like watching webcams. For some reason, they like watching like the facial expression, the uh, reactions to stuff, and just to see what the person looks like that they're talking to. Uh, I should have stayed on the middle. Uh, so yeah, I will eventually get a webcam. Um, it may not be right away, because like I've only got you, Flubber. Uh, I've got Flubber, Master Swag... CMAC, TD Pit. I've got a few followers, like four or five. Um, just wear a silly hat. Nice. Um, I'm thinking once I get a few more people, I might. But it also depends on money, too. Um, not only, you know, bills and all that. Uh, but whatever. Can you make two videos on how to set things up and how to get emulators with ROMs? Um, yeah, I don't know about the ROMs. Uh, I don't know how legal that would be from a legal standpoint. Um, but the emulators and how to set things up, yes. I just don't want to get banned from Twitch for uh, linking to ROMs. But yeah, Google's a good thing. Um, I've had the ROMs that I've had for years simply because a long time ago I got a torrent that had every Super Nintendo game, every NES game. Um, I've also got every Game Boy Advance game, every DS game. Well, maybe not every DS game, uh, but quite a lot. I've got all the N64 games. Uh, but yeah, you just gotta know where to look. Um, like Flubber said, I would check Google. Um, just Google SNES ROMs torrent and you should find something. But yeah, that's pretty easy. As far as setting it up, I'll look into that. I don't, I only have one monitor and I've never actually recorded like a tutorial. Um, I just didn't even read that. Hey, have you heard? There's a rare item hidden in the mines. If I find it, I'm going to sell it to someone in town. I'm in it for the money. Uh, but yeah, maybe. Um, I don't see why not. I'm going to try to focus on video games for now, but if you really need help, I can definitely try to do that for you. Um, let's see. Harvest Moon. I have not played Harvest Moon, but I've seen my fiancé play it on the DS and the 3DS. It's a huge time sink. Uh, I don't think I could sit there and play Harvest Moon forever. I should probably heal Gino soon because he's about to die. Actually, let's do that right now.
what emulator am I using? Good question. Um, I actually started... There's an emulator that I really like. It's called RetroArch, or RetroArch. R-E-T-R-O-A-R-C-H. Uh, and that can actually emulate all kinds of stuff. You can emulate uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, NES, SNES, Genesis, N64, all in one emulator. So I was going to use that, but uh, OBS has problems streaming that because... Um, reasons, I guess? I don't know, but uh, the the name of the window changes all the time to let you know how many frames per second you're running, and I think that interferes with OBS. So the one I'm using, uh, to answer your question, is actually called SNES 9X. I'll go ahead and put that in chat for you. But yeah, um, that's the one I'm using right now. And I am using an Xbox 360 controller, a wired Xbox 360 controller, uh, in the USB ports, and I've got that mapped accurately to the Super Nintendo buttons. You should do something like when you get 50 followers, like a special? Oh yeah, I agree, man. I just don't see that happening for a long time. <laughs> but uh, I've got... I've been buying the um, Humble Bundles for years, so I've actually got a lot of spare... Um, Steam keys and a few origin keys from there. So yeah, I can definitely see like doing a giveaway or something like that in the future. I just feel like um, if I were to do something like that now, it might kind of cheapen it. Um, you know, be like, hey, I'm going to subscribe to this guy only because he's giving away games. Nah, that wouldn't be fun. But uh, if you have any other ideas, to make it more fun, or any other suggestions or something, definitely. Because like I said, I am just getting started, so any help, uh, suggestions, ideas, all that good stuff is very welcome. These uh, star guys suck. Boom. Psych. That's like instant death if you don't block it. But, uh, well not death, but knockout or whatever. But once you, um, once you're out of the battle, once you win, you, uh, actually come back to life. Or, you know, they get revived. Another thing about this game you can do is, uh, you can go to the specials. And anybody that has a healing, uh, special, you can actually use in, huh. You can use in the menu. Uh, tell people it's to raise money to pay for cancer treatment. That's messed up, dude. Yeah, knowing my luck, uh, karma would come back to bite me and I would actually get cancer. And that would not be fun. I do want to try to keep it honest and open. Oh hey, Master Swag seven nine four. What were you? Uh, I didn't mean to insinuate that that might be what you were saying. Um, I'm just like, if you have any other ideas of how to get viewers or whatever, definitely I will listen. But yeah, once once I get fifty, oh yeah, I'm gonna give away something. Either like a perler bead type thing or a, a video game on Steam or something like that. Yeah. I think I actually have a few keys to like Reddit Gold and um, Twitch Plus or Turbo or whatever they call it uh, that I can give away too. I think he was just trying to be funny. I don't think he actually meant it. Um, he does have a good point though, because I have seen people that 
uh, have their chat, you know, their information on there that say, oh, this is to help my friend who got cancer, and you never know if that's for real. Hopefully it is, and they're not trying to get money out of people, but you never know. But no, I'm not going to do anything like that unless, God forbid, something actually happens like that. Yeah, the first uh, stream that I did uh, was an hour, a little over an hour is for Legend of Zelda. Second stream I did was for two hours and 40 minutes. That was yesterday. Uh, so far today I've been streaming for about two and a half hours, so... I'm trying to keep the streams a good length, because I do want to draw in people um, to watch. Also, this is my favorite game ever, so I have a lot of insight and a lot of uh, commentary about it. I've played it, like I said, about 15 times, so uh, I've got a lot of a lot to say, I think. And maybe someone will want to listen. Who knows? So yeah, if you haven't noticed, um, a lot of these rocks, rock monsters, uh, drop the lucky flower to give you a chance at doubling your XP or coins at the end of the fight. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Flubber, my streaming schedule, I don't really have one. Um, the only reason I'm streaming a lot right now is because I have a lot of days off of work. Um, I'm kind of floating around at work right now. Um, they don't have me on a set schedule, per se. Um, so it just kind of depends on what hours. I know as a streamer on Twitch you do need to have a schedule so people know when to listen or know when to tune in and watch and all that. Uh, but since I'm just starting out I don't really have a set schedule yet. Hopefully sometime in the future once I get a normalized schedule I will have some type of normality. Normality? Normalcy? Something like that. Um, because that'll help me out, it'll help the people who watch out, they'll know when to come and show up. But yeah. So yeah, as you can see, we are now fighting bob -ombs. Uh which are a classic Mario enemy. I'm getting kind of lucky, so that's pretty good. check my phone real quick. I have a notification light. Ah, okay. One of them was an email. It said, uh, Master Swag 794 has followed you on Twitch. Awesome! He don't stream no more. That sucks. Uh, a guy called Cannibal Candy, he got 25 followers and he did a special where he had his nephews give him a makeover and he was covered in lipstick. That's pretty funny. I, <laughs> yeah, that, that is interesting. Um, hmm. He had lipstick all over his face. That's awesome. I'm gonna try to stream, uh, I mean, for the foreseeable future, um, I want to keep in touch with the people that watch me, um, and I actually want to try to build that loyalty and uh, make it to where you guys actually enjoy watching and you're not bored or, you know, whatever. Do the next episode drag. 
Well, seeing how I don't have a webcam. Ah, I hate that. Gino reaches up late. Pretty good stuff there. We're gonna go ahead and up the. Well, that's a tough call. We're gonna do a magic attack. You should do that to troll face. Oh, so, oh, okay. I see what you mean. I should do that to troll people. Uh, yeah. I don't know how that's trolling. But once I get a webcam, I can see something silly like that, yeah. Like, uh, do normal webcam shows or whatever, and then one day show up in, like, a wig and... Yeah. But, I don't know. <laughs> that seems a little different. Look at that, man. So, Master Swag794, if you don't mind me asking, what brings you to the uh, stream? So there uh, looks like a dead end. Mario, you come to save us? One problem though, this is a dead end. We need a bomb to blast through here. Think you could find one? Sure, buddy. Why not? I will go look for a bomb. Actually, there's plenty of bombs running around here. The bomb bombs, but uh, I don't think that's what he wants. Wait, I heard a fireball. Cannibal Candy, he did the game, did this game too, it was his first game, and five minutes later I came in and became his first follower. Nice! That's pretty cool, man. Um, yeah, I really like this game too. Um, yesterday after I got done streaming, I went to... Uh, I forget his name. Um, but it's like zombie something. 8-Bit Zombie, or something like that. But he was doing a stream, too. Um, so, yeah. we go with HP, since that's the biggest boost. Yeah, I, I love this game. This is my favorite game. Um, ever! I think it's close second would be... Oh, what am I doing? Close second would be StarCraft uh, Brood War on the PC. Then probably... Or, no, actually, close second would be Kirby Superstar. Um, I'm going to do that one eventually, too. Have you ever seen or played Kirby Superstar? Uh, <laughs> holy shit, he went for HP. Yes, I did. I try to go with the biggest bonus. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, super, uh, Kirby Superstar, I'm going to play that eventually. Um, another game that I really like... Uh, StarCraft, Heroes of Might and Magic 3. Uh, I like all kinds of stuff, man. Weird how that was, that has different levels of goodness. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it's kind of like a however you want to play type of thing. You get to sorta of customize the characters. Um, you can pick, you know, do you want to be a tank? Do you want to be a crazy awesome attacker? Do you want to be a crazy special attacker? Uh, do you want to well round it? It gives you a little bit of options. So yeah, jumped on the trampoline, hit the cave, of course, because um, we're underground. And look, it's Croco. Pass the fuck out. Croco's here, and he's taking all my coins. Listen up. Let's leave this half-wit Mario here and split. Anyone got a beef with that? And then he runs away. 
Oh, oh, he took the coins. Chase Croco and get those coins back. All right. Who's my favorite character? In this game, my favorite character is Gino. Gino is cool. Um, I actually, I told uh, Flubber here, I told uh, that, I can't even speak. I told Flubber earlier that I made a, um, a pearly bead thing out of Gino. Pearler beads are uh, pretty cool. You should look them up if you don't know what they are, but they're like little beads that you put on a pegboard, you melt them together, they cool and harden and turn into uh, like a 2D thing. I don't know if I told you, Flubber, or if it was Vidoy. Anyway, uh, I have such a weird list of favorite games. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place. Who boy, looks like a dead in here, but not to worry. Hey, hey, I've got a bomb. Never leave home without him. Well, we know who has a bomb, so let's track his ass down. In the meantime, I'm going to fight these guys for the XP. Are you talking about favorite character ever, or are you talking about favorite character in this game? Because I do really like Kirby. I have got a Kirby shirt. Um, it has Kirby inflated. He's like floating up in the air. And uh, he's got a thought bubble above his head. And it shows that he's thinking about a hamburger. And then it says... I think it, I don't know what it says, but it's in Japanese. Um, the shirt is blue with pink uh, like ink on it. So yeah, I've got a Kirby shirt. Um, I do have a small collection of Amiibos. And I've got a Kirby Amiibo. That was actually the first one I bought. So, I'm a huge Kirby fan myself. Uh, we're going to do the Geno... No, we're not. Nope. Forget what I said. Because the Geno boost uh, increases your attack or defense. Or both if you time it right. Um, but there's no point in that. I've never used that, I don't think. Maybe, like, once on accident to see what it was, but... I'm gonna go ahead and check. Yes, let's do it. What is it about Kirby that I like? I like... Well, um... I like Kirby because he... Uh, he can copy powers, and that's pretty cool. Um... That's a pretty unique concept in a video game. Like, I don't know of any other games that are like that. You can swallow enemies and copy their power, um, so that's awesome. Also, he's made by Sakurai, uh, who makes Super Smash Bros., so that's cool. Um, he's also not a like a bald space marine character. He's like a pink ball of fluff who can kick some ass, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this is pretty cool, and I like the games. The games are fun. They have awesome music. They have awesome boss fights. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and heal Mallow because he keeps getting his ass handed to him. Enigma. Yeah, these are interesting guys. They are made up of a bunch of smaller little guys. And they're ugly. They're like pig, flying pig monster things. Kirby is a he, yes. Kirby is not a girl. Kirby's a boy.
So yeah, in case you forgot, um, we're going through the main purpose of going through the mine is to find the kids that are trapped in the mine. And a lot of people have been saying there's a star in here too. So, uh, but recently I jumped on the trampoline inside the mine, and that made it to where um, I got knocked out. Croco took the coins, which right now I've got 26 just from winning from battle. Um, so we're chasing down Croco, but I'm also fighting everything I come across. I have never heard of Slash Fiction, so I don't know what that is. I imagine it's like fan fiction, but I don't know. Apparently the neighbor upstairs is vacuuming, so if that is causing an annoyance on the microphone, I do apologize. Sub, sub, just you wait. We'll get you for this. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday. He didn't have the coins on him, but he dropped a flower tab. Let's go ahead and use that flower tab. Put it on my tab. There's another guy hiding behind the trampoline. I'm gonna go kick his ass. Ah, oh, that sucked. Oh! Slash fiction is sexual fan fiction. Okay. Well, I wouldn't be into that, uh, but whatever floats your boat, man. Sob, sob, just you wait. We'll get you for this. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday. I got another flower tab. Awesome. And the third henchman is hiding behind there. Alright, so same thing. Maybe not say maybe uh, someday. Alright. So I got another flower tab, and here comes Croco. So we're gonna fight Croco again. Uh, for anyone keeping tabs, this is the this is gonna be the second oh I thought that would have worked. There he is. Oh you have to talk to him. So you have to run up to him and hit the A button. Uh yeah, this is the second time we're fighting Croco, so Let's just go ahead and attack like normal. As you can see, he throws bombs at you. I got a new attack. Um, it is Super Flame. It's basically an upgraded version of uh, Fire Orb. So check it out. One of the coolest attacks in the game, as far as I'm concerned. The f beams falling from the sky, I think, is actually Geno Flash. Which I don't have yet. You want them back? Or, let me rephrase that. You want them back, you gotta take me down first. Let's do this. Psychopath. So we can see how many hit points he has and uh, what interesting thing it has to say. Ooh, I'm good. No, you're not. You're a bad crocodile. Chomp. So that, he actually throws out enemies or other random items. He throws monsters out of his bag. So you can tell he's a big-ass crook because he steals everything. He's got everything in his bag. Nah, language is fine. Um, 
if you check the description on the page, you can say whatever you want, man. That's as long as you're not like bullying people or uh, you know, just being a dumbass. Uh, like when I say dumbass, I mean like uh, threatening people or anything like that. But no, that's fine. I cuss all the time, so I try not to. Uh, I try to keep it a little bit respectable and professional, but shit happens, so don't worry about it. Youch! Enough already. Here's your junk. I'm out of here. Mallow reaches level ten. Gets a good jump in XP or HP rather. Everything else went up pretty good. Mallow learns shocker. <laughs> shocker. Two in the pink, one in the stink. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good bonus. Six to the max HP. Everything else only goes up by one. So we're gonna do HP. So wait, what is Mallow? You weren't here for that? You weren't here for part two? We don't know that he's a prince yet, um, but he is not a frog. Uh, I think if you go to my channel, uh, on here, my profile, whatever you call it, you can go to the past broadcast, and um, there is actually, if you want to watch it, that would be cool. It's, I mean, it's over, it's like two hours long, but in one of them, um, in one part of that, I think uh, towards the beginning, because it doesn't take too long to happen, but, um, yeah, you can actually see that he is revealed to not be a cloud, or uh, rather, not not to be a frog, but um, I try to avoid spoilers. Uh, I guess I'll put that in the description, uh, just for future reference, just because of uh, people like Flubber that have never played the game. Um, Yeah, when he was crying when we first met him, uh, it made him rain. That that is correct. Uh, do you want me to tell you what he is, or do you want to find out uh, by watching the video that I posted? You found a bomb. Now we'll bust through in no time. Alrighty, stand back. Close your eyes. Let's follow the tracks to the end. What the star? It's probably in the back. Thanks a million, Mario. Let's mosey along now. Oh, guess you're right. I'd just be a burden on you fellas. Well then, I'm counting on you to find the kids, you hear? Well, thanks a lot, Mario. Guess I'll be going back to tell Ma about everything. Uh, yeah, so Mallow is actually... He is a cloud. That's all we know about him. Um, but yeah, he is... Actually, we don't even know that he's a cloud. We just know that he's a ball of fluff. Uh, it doesn't say that he's a cloud, but he is... I'm just going to go out and say it. He is a cloud. That's all we'll know for now. Um, Frog Fuchsius, uh, I don't know if you saw him yet, but he's pretty much um, Mallow's grandpa. He's a frog, and he raised him on tadpole ponds um, around a bunch of tadpoles. So... Uh, he grew up thinking he was a frog. Who's your favorite three character slots? Mine is Gino, Mario, and Bowser. Um, I do love Gino, but later in the game, uh, it's the other two characters that we haven't got yet. Um, which I don't want to spoil who they are, um, so we'll just leave it at that. Do you remember yesterday you were teasing the first party member and I joked that it it would be Cloud from Final Fantasy VII? Then he ends up being a literal Cloud. Yeah, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good guess, man. It was a Cloud, but it wasn't uh, Cloud Strife. I wonder if they did that on purpose. 
Because Square Enix did help make this game. Or Square, I should say. This is before they were Square Enix. Just blew your mind. Yeah. That is pretty awesome. Uh, I think this is a star. So I'm going to try to hit this and run. Yep. Oh, hurry up. Oh, okay. I got almost all of them. What the? What are you fighting? I don't remember those from any Mario game. No. These star things, the clusters, are not from any Mario game. Um, like I said, this game has a lot of uh, unique enemies, so... As far as I know, they're only in this game. Uh, they're not in any other game. As far as I know. So there's a save point there. I'm going to go ahead and save, but I'm also going to backtrack a little bit because I think there might have been something. Uh, status... So Geno's is about to level up. 10, H or 10 XP away. Let's see if there's any more monsters here. I think there was a fireball. Okay, I don't need those because I have 999. Are those supposed to be his eyebrows hovering in front? Uh, I think so, yes. The character, the enemies in this game are very animated. They have a lot of uh, interesting animation going on. Well, most of them, anyway. Not all of them, but... Welcome back, Master Swag. Sweet. Awesome. I'm not going to worry about that chest because it has coins in it. I'm already at the max. It would be a waste. Uh, I think this is coins, too. Nope, that's a mushroom. Okay. This might be... Okay, that's a flower. Master Swag's in his house. Alright, got the flower. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get the level. Uh, let's do one more backtrack just to see if there's any other monsters here. There's a minecart blocking that way. No monsters that I can see. Uh... Oh well. 3D maze? Uh, it's hard, but it's not that hard. Um, I don't have it memorized. I just jump around and change directions until I get it, which you'll see later. Um, let's just see. I know I already saved, but we're going to save again just to be 100% sure that it is saved. Uh, did I have the freaking... Okay. Let's check this out. See what's in here. Oh, okay, bombs. We can get a level out of this. Maybe. One more, and then Gina will level up.
Awesome. don't think you could stream on Twitch without nappies. Are you talking about taking a nap like going to sleep? Or are you talking about nappies like tissue paper? That's five, but that's three. We're gonna go with... Uh, it's tough. We're gonna go with the attack. Diaper? Oh, ha! Huh. Yeah, uh... Actually, the diet I'm on, um, I, I know this is kind of gross, but I don't really have to use the restroom a lot, so, yeah. Good day. The name's Nello. Punchinello. Punchinello? Never heard of you. They say I'm a hothead. But I'll show them. You, you will make me famous. So long. Okay, so this is a boss. This is gonna be the boss that guards the third star. So yeah, believe it or not, we're actually already on the third major boss of the game. Uh, actually, I don't know if he's a major boss. I mean, we just fought Croco, and we're now we're fighting him. Um. There's going to be a lot more bosses to come, but yes, he is a boss, and he will guard the third star piece. <laughs> uh, the diet I'm on is actually called a ketogenic diet, or keto, K-E-T-O for short. Um, it's basically a diet consisting of high amounts of fat, uh, moderate, uh, well, that didn't do very much. Moderate amounts of protein and a very, very low amount of carbs. Um, so, yeah, goddamn! He's got 1,040 hit points left. Haha, -ha, I wear diapers, yeah. Snuggies. Let's try a super jump, because that super flame. Didn't do a lot. What? Zero damage on the jump. Okay. Well, let's try Mala's new hit. Uh, or new, new hit. Mala's a musician now. Uh, his new special attack, Shocker. That diet sounds terrible. What? High amounts of fat? Like bacon and eggs and ham and steak and all that and chicken that sounds terrible nah it's pretty tasty uh, but yeah I don't get to eat like pizza or bread or sandwiches or sugar or rice or anything like that but that's fine I don't miss it and I've lost like over 40 pounds since I started three months ago or four months ago now so that's actually pretty good I haven't exercised or anything and I've lost like 40 pounds but here's a shocker let's see 60. Not bad. The pronunciation of the diet. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Now let's up the ante. So he brings out real bombs. Pretty good attack there. A hundred from uh, Gino. I hate this attack. Sandstorm. Because it makes him weak. See? 46. He did a hundred before. Now I could fix everybody, but I know he's just going to do it again, so.
Grrr. All right, it's clobbering time. And he brings out the mezzo bombs. So in case you haven't noticed the pattern, he's uh, his bombs are getting bigger and bigger. I think we're almost there. And everybody's uh, back to normal, so. Arrgh! I must be dreaming. I'm ruined. I didn't want to do this, but now I have no choice. I think he's bluffing. Simmer down, Fluffy. I'm not gonna waste this on you. Who knows what might happen. Take your best shot. Enough. I've got my pride. Now you're in for it. Huh? What the hey? Why isn't it working? Ah! Mario. If this thing explodes, we're history. This is a fine mess. Let's scram, now! Ow! It's gonna blow! No! So yeah, giant bomb just exploded. What on earth was that? Well, we won the battle. Now I hope we don't lose the war. Where are Dinah and the star? I guess my question's just been answered. Come on, Mario, let's go! And that, my friends and followers, is the third star. But I'm not gonna end the stream until the, um this part of the game because we're on the third little island or third part of the world uh, we're still on that we just we only did the first part which is Moleville so there's quite a lot left on this um, on this island or this part of the world so I like how you say it with no emotion what did I say with no emotion ah come on let's get the show on the road all right let's go Erg, this won't budge. Wow, it skipped the thing. Help me here. Give me, give the minecar push. Okay. Care to read the warning? Of course. Minecar guidelines. Press A or Y to break. Press, press B to jump. Get mushrooms and press X to accelerate. That's right. Are you leaving, Master Swag? Awesome. So you're staying good. Uh, yeah, when you said your mom kept calling, I, th I thought you were saying you gotta go, but awesome. So this is yet another one of the mini games that are in this game. Um, 
This one was actually advertised in the commercials back in the day um, to show off like the pseudo 3D capabilities of the Super Nintendo. Um, so yeah, considering this was a 1996 and it was a Super Nintendo game, this part actually looks pretty good. I mean, obviously right now, um, in 2015, it doesn't look impressive, but back in the day, it did. So. I'm an idiot. I should have break uh hit the brakes. Ah, I keep hitting the brake instead of the jump. Uh, you can use the mushrooms you get as a boost. Although I like to save them for the straightaways and for the next part, which is 2D. Go back to the 3D part. Uh, I think you are correct um, about it being made in the same time as Donkey Kong Country. I think Donkey Kong Country was 94. Uh, I could be wrong though. If you hit the corners too sharp, or you hit the little ones like that, um, you actually fall off. And I haven't fallen off, so it's pretty surprising. Almost did there though. And we're going back to the 2D parts. Oh, ran out of track. Start a boss battle, mom calls. I come back, you have star already. I'm like, what? No! Yeah, sorry about that. I wonder how those kids are doing. Sure wish they'd hurry home. Settle down, woman. I asked Mario to help us out, so I reckon he'll bring him back when he's good and ready. I just had this odd feeling that they'll be dropping in on us any minute now. Uh, if you're asking me, Philbert, if it was this my first Mario game, no. Um, I'm 25. The first Mario game I played was Super Mario Bros. on the uh, NES. The original. Um, so no. Uh, this is not my first Mario game, but it is my first RPG. And it is the first game I ever bought with my own allowance money. So uh, it's very special to me. They still gotta use the door like everyone else, Ma. Now settle down. And then they crash to the roof. We're home! Gracious, they really did drop in on us. Oh, my poor babies. Are you okay? Little mite, are you hurt? Nah, we're okay, Ma. Isn't that right, mite? We had fun. Mama, Papa. He's been knocked senseless. You poor baby, you're safe now. Dinah, haven't I... Haven't I told you often enough to never go into the mines by yourself? That's enough, Ma. Just be happy to have him back. 9 plus 10 equals 21.
9 plus 10 equals 19. I don't... I don't understand. <laughs> uh, that's enough, Ma. Just be happy to have him back. We haven't thanked Mario proper either. I'm so embarrassed. Mario, we can't thank you enough for everything. What's that? The roof, you ask? No, that don't matter none. Right, Pa? It ain't nothing at all. You just leave any repairs to me. Give me a holler if you ever need a hand with your place. Thanks again for bringing our babies back to us. You found Dinah, Mite, and a star piece. But where is Toadstool? Uh, Master Swag, I am 25. I just said that. If you need anything, don't be no stranger now. I'll be heading back to the mountain after fixing the roof, but you come back and see us again, you hear? If you need anything, don't be no stranger now. I'll be heading back to the mountain after fixing the roof, but you come back and see us again, you hear? Wait, I think that just happened. I reckon Dinah's taking a liking to you, Mario. That trolley ride was fun. Can we go again? No! Come back, Mr. Beetle. Don't you want to come to Bowser's and play? Yeah, don't run away. We just want to play. We'll take good care of you. Uh, like what they said. Okay, Mr. Beetle. How old are you, Master Swag? I forgot what voice I gave him. Oh well. Don't you dare touch that beetle. That's a present for Boaster. That's right. Er. That's right. Just hand it over. Nice and easy. Uh, yeah. Like they said, or we won't be your friend. Booster really, really, really likes beetles, but he can't catch his own. That's right. He's busy keeping the princess from the sky entertained. So we're catching beetles for him. So hand it over! Sorry, I had to check my phone. It says I got a new subscriber. Caleb Mora. Oh. There he is. Caleb Mora. Or he, or she, he, probably. Uh, but yeah, I just saw the email that you subscribe or followed me, so welcome, Caleb Mora. Thanks for uh, following. Really appreciate it. How you doing today? So hand it over. That's right. Uh, pretty please. Oh no, it's getting away. Quick, catch it. Catch it. Hey Caleb, you ever played uh, Super Mario RPG before? Sweet, you're 13. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Welcome to my pretend store. Would you like a shiny stone? Sure. If you bring me a fireworks, then I'll give you a shiny stone. All right. Well, I got coins, so I'm gonna go in this house here. Uh, because you'll see why. Check out Booster's Tower. It's filled with neat stuff. Ma's off gossiping again. She's been gone for hours. You like fireworks? I'm working on my very own invention right now. I've only got the sparklers down, but I ain't giving up. Want to buy one for 500 coins? Okay. Thanks. You just wait for my masterpiece. Come back with more coins and buy my inventions, alright? God, fireworks. Which, uh, the little girl over here said she'll give me a shiny stone for her fireworks, so. Welcome to my pretend store. Would you like a shiny stone? Sure. I'll trade you. You'll trade your fireworks? Yes. Thank you. Please come again. Received a shiny stone. Awesome! I'm so hungry. Sure wish I had a carbo cookie. You don't need to be eating carbo cookies. 
Hey there, remember me from the mines? I found some neat stuff and I'm opening, opening up a miner's store. Come and take a look at what I've got to sell. Hey, Jojo PM05. How's it going, man? Sweet, we're getting lots of, well, not lots, but we're getting a few people. That's good. Welcome to the stream. Come and take a look what I've got to sell. Item number one, a lucky jewel. It's sure to bring you plenty of good luck. I'll sell to you for a hundred coins. Yeah, why not? Nice doing business with you. Here you go. We're gonna toss out a honey syrup. That's all I've got for now. Good to see you again. I'll show you my inventory. Oops, I didn't realize I was out of inventory. Check back with me occasionally. You may find something you like. So again, we're just talking to all the people uh, after we get the star, just to see if there's anything else happening in the world. You can't get inside Bowser's Tower very easily. You'll need a really strong person for that. What a nice shiny stone. I'll trade you my carbo cookie. Nah. Well, if you look at it, um... They're actually farther away, uh, Flover, about their counters. But even Mario, it, it covers his nose, so... JoJo, this is my favorite game, so I like this game very much. In fact, I, I, I would probably say that I love this game, so... You are in good company, sir. Or ma'am. This hole my wife dug is a shortcut to the trolley. It's an amusement ride, and I named it Moleville Mountain. Ain't that nifty. Drop in here, and you'll be right at the trolley tracks. It'll only cost you 10 coins. High scores... Um, oh yeah, 2 minutes 34 seconds. So you want to ride it or what? Nope. I already did that. Be that way. <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Oh, okay. Directed at Mobile Mountain sends it 2 minutes 34 seconds. Come back and ride it again. When you're tired, just go to the inn and rest. Law and Paul say little ones aren't allowed on the trolley. I can't wait to get older. Because she wants to ride the trolley. Take a ride on Pa's trolley, Mario. You heard about my husband? He's starting a business using that shortcut I dug. Planning on hanging a sign on it and calling it Moleville Mountain or something. Menfolk. Hmph. <laughs> By the way, do you have any items to get rid of? If you have extra items, we'll take them for you. We ain't no store or nothing, so we won't, you won't get any money for them, but we'll give you points. For every 100 points, you'll get a gift. Look at the sign to see the items we offer. You have zero points now. Would you like to trade in, in an item? Sure. I have... Uh... Actually, yeah, let's do a few honey syrups. Why not? Trade in four. Why not? Yeah, 16 points now. Would you like to trade in an item? No. I just said no. Okay. Bring in one of the items here. We'll exchange your mushrooms and syrups for points. For every 100 points, we'll get an item in return. You can choose one of the following gifts to take away with you. You want a fright bomb, which allows you to, to make one enemy quiver in fright. Number two, a fire bomb for a fire attack against all enemies. Or number three, an ice bomb for an ice attack against all enemies. They're all quite rare and hard to come by. That may be true, but they're not really worth it. Um, so, I'll pass. Actually, we already did that. Okay. So yeah, I've got a shiny stone. Welcome to my pretend store. Would you like a shiny stone? Sorry, curators are all gone. Thank you. Please come again. Alright, so we're done here in Moleville. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and save. And we're going to go and look at the status and see what... Uh... Okay. So i got got quite a bit to go to level up. So let's head on out of here and go to the next level, which is Booster Pass.
if you interact with this second um, thing here, you actually can find the frog coin hidden in it. So, little tip there. Scroll bell. We are fighting a giant cactus monster. Because why not? I think this one will attack you, no? I know one of them will. I think this one. Yep. So yeah, the artichoke uh, cactus type thing just attacked me. And it's an artichoker. Jacko pepper, yeah. So we're pretty much fighting vegetables. Although, that thing looks like it has a fish head. Yeah, that definitely was a jacko pepper, for sure. Or, a, I think it was a carrot, actually. Um, but, yes, it does look like a jack-o'-lantern carrot. Really? Oh, okay. And it's called a carobus... carobuscus, so... Uh, it's almost carrot, so... These are like the spikes, uh, spikies from the beginning of the game, only they're green. There's a lot of them. Oh, uh... Yeah. So is uh, Caleb still in here, or Master Swag? You guys are both quiet. Anyway, uh, let's see. Thunderbolt. Yeah. It'd be kind of freaky to see a giant, um, evil-looking carrot floating in the air in real life. That'd be freaky. I would not like that. Hey, look at that. Sound off! Alright. Uh, so I'm actually gonna get up here for reasons. I'll show you those reasons. Remember the first uh, Lakitu? We couldn't quite reach him, but this guy... Actually, let's see if we can run away, uh, since we're on top of him in the air. I just want to see if it'll let me... Okay, so we ran away in the air. Haha! <laughs> I just wanted to see if you could do that. Awesome. Let's go back to the Lakitu.
As you can tell, they do. They like to do electric base attacks, and those suck. So I don't think Thunderbolt will hurt them very much, but let's find out. Yeah, zero damage. There goes Gino. He's out. Um, I'm not going to worry about it right now because I think we can do this. to save the pick-me-ups uh, from when you really need them, when there's only one character left. Let's check status. It's 27 more for Mario. Might as well knock this guy out. <laughs> yeah, of course. You really think I'd like Earthbound? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm willing to give it a chance, so. All I know, it has Ness and Lucas. Uh, and I know that because I've played Super Smash Bros. We're gonna go ahead and use a pick me up on Geno um, to restore him to full health. Hey, look, I got a freebie, so. Much of this game's remind yeah, much of this game reminds you of Earthbound. That's pretty cool. Maybe uh maybe you could play it and I could watch you. Or maybe if I do play it, you can help me out with like uh secrets or whatever. Yeah, might as well clear them all out, so... It also gets a little acid trippy. Alright. Oh, is there another one? Jesus. Alright, not too bad. Gino. Kicking ass and taking names. Alright. Oh, another cactus attacks. I knew one of them did, I just didn't know if it was that one or the other one. Or artichoke. They look like cactuses to me. Or cacti, I should say. So, Flubber, uh... Do you mind me asking, um, what part of the game do you like the most so far? Do you like the combats, uh, the dialogue, the characters? What do you like about it, if anything? I 
I have one of these. Uh... There is a secret button uh, that you can jump on down there. And it goes ahead and uh, kills those guys for you. I thought there was a secret treasure chest down there, but I guess not. Alright, before we go there, uh, oh, I was asking what part of the game do you like the most so far? Um, characters, combat, dialogue, graphics, what's the part that really, uh, that you really like? I guess you can't buy it yet. Oh well. Uh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I'm gonna talk to that guy. He says the same thing. Gonna check this out real quick. So, nothing, uh, yet. Awesome. Uh, let's go to Tadpole Pond. See if this guy has anything for us. I have been thinking, is it possible that the bride at Booster's Tower is the princess. Huh. So Farfusia says that uh, the bride in the tower, at Booster's Tower, um, could it be the princess? Who knows? My favorite song? It's the Mulville Minor song. Mi do so do re la ti do. Mi do so do re la ti do. Well, I know this top one is me. Oh, that was wrong. That was re. That's do. Ah, I'm. I'm just gonna. I already fucked it up. Probably the platforming dialogue, and this game feels like whoever worked on it had a, lot, a load of fun making it, and I think it shows. You don't get that feeling with many contemporary games. Uh, I would 100% agree with everything you just said. They obviously took their time, they, they knew what they were trying to do, so... Um, and it's awesome. Yeah, I love it. Me... Do... So, no, it's not so. Do. Right now, I think that's right. Oh, pfft. what the hell? Master Swag is back. I got a few of them. Me do do re mi fa sa la ti do so so do do 
Right. No. Shit. Faso la. Faso la. I think it's T two. Let's see. So we're gonna <laughs> fuss right now. Nice. Let's start by reading notes. See the five lines between the second and third lies do. Keep going up, and the notes are do re mi. So it's from the top. It's mi re do ti la so fa. Okay. I'm just typing this so I can see it and remember it. Awesome. So, me. Do. So. Do. Re. La. Two. That should be it. Yeah. That's it. This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. Receive the tenor card. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. Awesome. Wee. May I help you? Hmm. Tenor card holder, huh? What'll it be? It'll be nothing, because I'm not wasting my money here. Alright, so we're done with that. Let's go continue onwards. We just beat Booster Pass, or got through it, rather. So here's Booster Tower. Let's check it out. Booster has such a nice place. I miss my fortress. I miss the good old days. Toadstool screaming in terror. Mario rushing in to save her. Ah! Oh jeez, it's Mario. Oops. Uh, okay, okay. Calm down. Don't let him see you like this. Hey, how have you been? No, not like that, dummy. Wrong tone. It needs more confidence. You! What are you doing here? If... Told so we're at my castle waiting to be rescued. <clears throat> She'd be crying like a baby. Hey look! It's Toadstool. Oh? Did I just hear some voices? It couldn't be. I can't believe it! It's Mario! Mario! I'm up here! That voice! It's Toadstool! I thought she got away, but she's been stuck here! Mwahaha! <laughs> well, I guess I'll be returning to my castle now. Out of my way, shorty! So, we just ran into Bowser, and we know where Peach is at the top of this tall ass tower. So, it's locked. So, what? You're still here? That look on your face. Mohaha, I get it now. Out of my way, shorty. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm a piece of work, ain't I? All this power and looks too. I know, I know. You're thinking, a big strong guy like him would be great to have along, right? I'm gonna do something I may regret later. I'll let you join the Koopa Troop. You can thank me later. Mario and his friends have joined the Koopa Troop. Or so they're pretending. Bowser joins the group. Yes, that is correct. No, I would not like a tutorial on know how to do that. Uh, Bowser actually joins your side in this game. Um, so yeah. You can fight with Bowser. What? <laughs> that's, that's an awesome reaction. And you can talk to the Sniffets. Hello there. Or actually, how did he talk? Hello there. Booster's busy right now, so he can't play. Come back some other time. Or you can try to force your way in. And then a battle starts. These guys aren't really bosses, but they are a lot tougher than normal enemies. Uh, yeah, so this is Bowser. He starts off unarmed, unequipped. Uh, so, you just tear into him. One XP. Bam, bam, bam. Hey, look, a bob -omb on a teeter-totter. What's up, bob -omb on a teeter-totter? How you doing? Yay! And uh, it jumps automatically for you. I'm not doing that. You can jump. Uh, or you can do that. That will come in handy here in just a little bit. That would actually be kind of cool, uh, if there was an attack like that. Just run backwards and impale him with the spikes. Mario reaches level 11. And we'll go with magic attack since it has the biggest bonus. Watch this guy. He saw, he, see, he saw what just happened where I just killed his friend, so he runs and hides in the corner. What is Bowser? Uh, can you be a little more specific? I don't know what you mean. Like, what kind of creature is Bowser? Or what role does he play? Bowser is a giant evil turtle with horns, uh, as far as I know. You asshole. You see that? He, he ran out of the way. I've never seen that happen before. I'll go ahead and show you one of uh, Bowser's specials. As Gino dies. Is Wario in this? Uh, not officially, but I'll show you what I mean here in just a little bit. Uh, so this is his first, Bowser's first special, Terrorize. It's pretty cool. Actually, all of his specials are pretty cool. Summons a giant boo.
I think, didn't Gino just level up too? Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and heal Gino, uh, because he is pretty much dead. And we'll go ahead and heal, no, no we won't. We'll wait. Um, so to answer your question, no, but Val Wario is not in this, but if you look at these, these are pictures on the wall, um, or portraits rather, of a character in this game called Booster. Uh, and it shows you Booster the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And then it's got him, Booster. If you look at the, these guys, they all have mustaches, they're all smelly looking, they all have crazy teeth and big noses. And so does Booster. I think that Booster and Wario may be related somehow, because they do look very similar. Um, but yeah. Wario's not here, but Booster is. Have you gotten the lazy shell armor and weapon? No, you get those later. Um, but no, I have not got those yet. So we're chasing down Booster. I'm going to go ahead and fight these two. Uh, yeah. You're spoiling it, man. Uh, but yes, that does come soon as well. That guy's like a creepy puppet robot thing. And these guys just keep pouring out, so I'm trying to get it out of the way here. Awesome. Right, that should be enough of them. Oh, good. What's the big rush? I'm Booster, and this is my famous tower of amusements. Normally I welcome visitors to play with me in my sniffets. However, a girl fell out of the sky and, and into my lab recently. Since then I've been busy keeping her happy and entertained. I no longer have the time to play, so please enjoy yourself. At your own risk, that is. Look at that. That looks like Wario. Please refrain from bothering Booster. Battle. See, even though he's not in the uh, party, he gets a level. And since I'm not going to use him for the rest of the game, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, increase his hit points. I'm not even going to bother with anything else. There's a flower tab over here. It's kind of a secret.
Looks like I might need some more mushrooms. Uh, let's check the status. Yeah, I might as well kill these guys. Didn't hurt. Going a little slow here, but I'm trying to make it go faster, so. So, uh, remember the teeter-totter seesaw type of thing over here? Well... Found a masher. Masher is a, an upgraded hammer. So right now we have 93 attack. If we equip the Masher, it goes up to 113. So, yeah. Woo! And actually, I'm going to go ahead and give Wake Up Pin to Bowser. Actually, I, yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, that's good. Give him a little more defense and make it to where he can't fall asleep. You can actually avoid him if you stick to the side a little bit. I'm gonna avoid these guys since I already fought them. Try to anyway. Hey, what do you know? Ah, he got eight hit points out of that, so that's pretty good. Ooh, that's kind of crappy. Two and one, one, and one and one. Let's go with the power, because that is more. Plus he's unarmed right now, so the more damage the better. Onwards. There's a big green button. What was that loud noise outside? Check out Booster Pass, which we will do later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the tower first, and then we'll come back to that. Hey, uh, Flubber, you watching? And Master Swag, check this out. It's a pretty cool little Easter egg. Um, I like it. But you walk behind the counter, the uh, curtains here. And then you walk out, and you're in 2D. Can't access your menu. Um, but yeah, you can walk around as 2D Mario. Which is pretty cool, I think. But yeah, uh, if you try to leave, that happens. So yeah, um, unfortunately you can't play like that forever, but it is kind of a cool little easter egg that they threw in there. 
Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the same type of thing happens in Paper Mario, um, where you can turn into a 2D Mario for a little bit. But yeah, you can only do it once per game. Going in here does nothing. So. Gino's about to level up, so let's fight these guys. Yeah, that does a considerable uh, amount of damage there. Damn. I'm gonna bring him back. No freebie that time. I just want to make sure he gets XP for the battle. I don't know if they get XP if they're knocked out. There's his level. Attack goes up by 5. HP up by 6. Special by 1. Attack by 1. We're gonna do HP. So I think now everyone's uh, at about 80, 88, 89, 90. Awesome. They all have about the same hit points. I don't. I guess you can fight. But no. Nope. Okay. If you encounter a build bill. It makes you fight the launchers. And they're pretty tough. fight. But as you can see, Gino is uh, going first now all the time because he has the most speed going before most of the enemies even, so uh, that's pretty good. One XP for that guy. More bombs. Save point. Go save. Alright, so there's a locked door. Take a look at Booster's family portraits in order from the oldest to the youngest. Um, yeah. So if you get it wrong, you have a battle. I mean, you can you can't run from it. Okay. I just transferred the stream to my phone. And I think there's something like a 45 second delay. Wow. That sucks. Uh... One. 
That's not the one that I meant. Yeah, like I said, uh, my computer's not the best uh, as far as processor goes, so it is going to be a little bit delayed. Really. And I don't have top tier internet. I have I have pretty good internet. It's not bad. It's just, uh, you know, it is what it is. Maybe one day in my dream world, I'll have enough uh, money to get it going. So Booster was obviously hiding behind that thing there, and he spit us a key. So we're going to use that key and open the get door. This scene is a little weird, but there's an enemy up there. And you go to attack it. Bowser pops out. They gaze into each other's eyes. Mario, she's a bit shy. Look the other way, will you? You can turn around now. She says she's been locked up ever since she took a bite out of Booster. So now, she wants to help us stir up a little trouble. Wahaha! <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what they did. Uh... Don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. So yeah, it brings him up to 100 damage or 100 uh, attack. So that's good. All right, let's continue. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for letting me know, man. I'm fairly certain there is a hidden treasure chest over here. Oh well. I actually like this music a lot too. So sounds pretty cool. Hey look, Gino can finally kill stuff. Eerie Jig turns you into a scarecrow. Sweet. So yeah, those are the chomps from the classic Mario Brothers games. Uh, I think they first appeared in Mario 3. Um, yeah, you can use them against the bad guys.
So I've been doing this stream for about two hours. Um, have I done the thing? Yes, I did the 2D thing already. Uh, I guess you weren't here. I thought this had some significance, but I guess not. Huh. Oh. Uh, but like I was saying, I've been doing this stream for two hours. I'm going to keep going. Um, but I might... After this particular part... Uh, well, not part, but like... Stream is over after we finish all of the... Third world. Um, probably going to call it quits for tonight. But I'm going to keep going for right now, so... Just to let you know. If there is anybody in the stream that uh, is not in the chat right now, um, oh, and you like what you're uh, watching, Super Mario RPG, feel free to follow me on here. Um, I am new to Twitch. I'm trying to get viewers. I'm trying to get an audience. I like talking with uh, Flubber so far. He's pretty cool. Starting to get to know him a little bit. Um, same with Master Swag. You guys are pretty awesome. Found some zoom shoes. Zoom shoes. What does that do? Uh, speed up by 10. Shit, I'll give it to Wario. That ups his defense. And why not? Alright. Your mom called you. Hey, no problem. It happens, man. Life happens, bruh. Cool. Let's go. I like to jump a little bit at a time, because if you walk around, you'll get attacked more. So. At least in my experience. Sometimes they'll scare me. <laughs> Say, like, oh, shit. I don't know how a fireball gets a laser beam attack, but... Okay. Let's do it! Man, twice in a row I got it wrong. These are not friendly chumps, as you can tell. Rave, yeah. Rave at the booster tower, yo. Is this funny? Is what funny? Chick with the hand? Uh I I don't know. A little of both, I guess. Wonders. Ch 
chugga chugga. Hoo chugga chugga honk. This is my personal railway. Eh? My, it's you again. I'm amazed you made it this far. Yes, quite amazing you are. Since you're here, maybe you can clear up something for me. My bride to be has been chanting, Mayu, help me, Mayu, help me, Mayu, help me. Is she showing her happiness? Hey, wait a second. Maybe Mario is another guy. What if you're this Mario she keeps talking about? Trying to take my bride away? Why don't you take this instead? Hey, is this socially awkward? And then you see a dude. Uh, I don't think it's socially awkward. It may be normally awkward. That did do it? Grr, I ran out of bombs. Well, so long. He just started to blow me up. That bastard. I like that guy. Broly was his name. Uh, which guy? Are you talking about the guy on the train with the bombs? Or are you talking about the emote icon thing? Found a goodie bag. I'm gonna toss away able juice because I haven't had to use that yet. And there's a frog going. Train guy, that's Booster. See, we're in Booster Tower. Uh, yeah, the guy's name is Booster. He's a freaking weirdo. All right, check this out. Remember how they were chasing beetles? Um, well, in this cage is a little beetle, uh, and it's got a little pipe on it. So it's like a little pipe house, remember, like Mario has in the beginning of the game. I don't know how that would keep him, you know, locked in there, because you'd think you could fly out of the pipe, but I don't know. Also, if you look down here, you can see some dolls. Uh, on the left side. You can see Samus. On the top, you can obviously see Peach. And underneath, it looks like a Goomba. Um, no, you're not an idiot. You've never played this game before, so. But yeah, it's pretty cool. There's a Samus doll, along with some other ones in there. Uh, and then on top of here, there's a Mario doll. But uh, we'll get to that in just a minute. Hey look, it's Toadstool. Mario, you did come to rescue me. I was so frightened and lonely. But now that you're here... The door won't open? I think we need Booster Spell to undo the lock on it. Oh, what should we do? Aha! What should we do? Booster is returning, isn't he? I know. 
hide somewhere and wait until he opens the door. You can move freely behind the curtains. Good luck hiding from Booster and his sniffets. This is actually a pretty funny part of the game. Um, and it's also a little minigame thing, too. Boss, shouldn't we be concentrating on the girl? Right. Now about the girl in my life. Who thinks I should marry her? Well, speak up. A wedding ceremony would make a great party. Ah, a party. We haven't had one of those. It could be fun. So, what is a party? Well? Well? Uh, and how did he talk? Well, you drink punch and eat cake. I think. Hmm. Drink, punch, eat cake. Sounds complicated. I don't know if I can muster the energy to do it. Let's walk through it once. It's wedding rehearsal time. We will now begin the ceremony. Walk down the aisle with the... Hey, someone make her smile. Beautiful bride-to-be. Wait! Mario always shows up about now to ruin the fun. We've got to take that into consideration, you know. That's actually pretty clever. He must know a lot about Mario. Someone go and get the Mario doll. Which, it's up here. It isn't here. Of course it's here. You lazy slobs couldn't find water if you were a fish. It's behind those curtains. Number one, you go and look. This is where you gotta be careful. Nope, it isn't here. I wouldn't go and lose my Mario doll, you idiots. Ha <laughs> ha. Number two, you look too. It isn't here. We can't give up. It's got to be here somewhere. Number three, it's your turn. Wait a minute. This is better than a party. Look out, cause here I come. Wait. A. Second. It's right up there. I found the Mario doll. But we'll never be able to reach it up there. Oh, the sorrow. What am I gonna do? I'm about to lose it. Simple. <laughs> Goodness, you're so kind. Thank you for getting my doll. I'd like to reward you. Here, take this. Got an amulet. May happiness follow you wherever you go. Alright, enough is enough. Cancel the rehearsal and we're going on with the show. Here's the password. XXVII.27 Oh yeah, that was me controlling it. Wait! You took all the trouble to come here, so stick around! So yeah, another boss fight. Uh, I'm gonna go after Great Guy, or er, there's Knife Guy and Great Guy. I'm gonna go after Great Guy because I think he is the better spellcaster. AKA the better nuisance, so I'm gonna try to take him out first.
Soap bubble of doom. Yeah, these guys, uh, are clowns. Ha! Ah, get it? Clowns. Come on, brother. Let's thrash him. Whoop de doo! I'm still gonna go after Crate Guy. Or, er, Great Guy. Yikes! They're pretty tough. I don't even know if he has any spells. I haven't seen any. Damn. Dead. Sweet! 30 XP, that's pretty good. Comparatively. So, uh, if you remember, we are going to chase down Bowser. Or, not Bowser, but Booster, because he took the princess. Please let me go, won't you? Please? Pretty please? Eh? Hey, where's my bride to be? One question quiz time. What is the highest amount of damage can the Geno world do on normal enemies? 9999. Nine, nine, nine. What do I win? Hey, where's my bride to be? I want to play hide and seek too. Yuck, I don't want to play anything with you. What a poor sport. Well, we really should hurry along. A yummy cake is waiting for us after we climb this hill. Let's go! No, I don't want to marry you. Please let me go. Help, Mario, please help me! Uh oh, it's Mario. We didn't plan on this. He should have, because he says Mario always shows up to ruin things. Mario, you weren't invited to our wedding. Besides, we still have to have the rehearsal. I'll be happy to race you to the wedding hall, but you better not get in the way. Ready? This is the Booster Hill track. Need some advice? Sure, why not? Kappa? What the heck is a Kappa? You can only move left or right and jump. You can't go forward or backward. So this is another minigame. There are kind of a lot of minigames in this, which is cool. Touch the Sniffets or any of the Burls and you'll fall back. And jump on the Burls or the Sniffets to sprint forward. Reach out and touch Toadstool and, sh and you'll win flowers. Ready, set, go! Oh. Oh. Damn it. I'm usually pretty good at this, so... But it is a little more challenging than the other ones. You have to have really good timing and anticipate. Because if you don't, that shit happens. But you can get a lot of flowers in this if you're really good. I have used save states before. Um, to get a shitload, but that's pretty much cheating, so not gonna do that. Ah. Damn. 
I'm not doing so hot. Like at all. Uh, I didn't do terribly. Scored three flowers. Mm, I could have done better, but I didn't, so. 21, 29. Hey, that's pretty good. They're about to level up. Alright, just seeing what I had. Welcome to Marymore. We have a lovely wedding hall and four-star hotel facilities. Please enjoy your stay here. What? You're seeking a man with the face of a totem pole? How could I forget him? He's up at the wedding hall. So, yeah. Uh, this is actually an inn and an item shop. Or if you actually go into it, it is the Marymore Hotel. Oh, honey. Can we... Please, can we stay in the suite? Please? Oh, and they're both saying the same thing. No, he's not. Okay. This place is known for its exquisite service, especially in the suites. But it's a tad pricey. Isn't this just splendid? This place is heaven, even for the rich and famous. Oh, I've got lots of coins, so... Hello. How may I help you today? I'd like to rest a while. Yes, I see. We here at the Marymore Hotel are offering a very special deal for a limited time only. If you choose to stay in our lovely deluxe suite, we shall receive you shall receive a once in a lifetime gift. Now which room will you choose? Uh we're gonna go with the suite. Oh excellent choice, sir. We shall attend to you in a moment. A minute. You should have said moment. But whatever. Sir, so this is a gift we promised you upon selection of the suites. We hope you will enjoy it. Got a flower to add. The bellhop will show you to your room. Please enjoy your stay. This is the room. Please make yourself at home. Please feel free to use this terry cloth bathrobe after bathing. Ring that bell for room service, and please be sure to turn the lights off when going to sleep. Anything else, sir? Looks like he wants a tip. Will you give him one? Sure, why not? I got money to spare. Thank you very much, sir. Please enjoy your stay here. Awesome, I got a hotel room. With two beds. Yay, beds. Alright. And you can go to sleep. He's dead fine. Awesome. You can ring the bell. At your service, sir. How may I help you? Just kidding. Please do not hesitate to ring. Okay. Looks like he wants a tip. Will you give him one? Sure, why not? At your service, sir. How may I help you? I'm thirsty. Here's the menu. Nah, too expensive. Get out of here. I'm gonna take a shower. So yeah, he comes out of the shower, nice and hot, his face is all red. 
And you try to use the Terry Bath cloth that he told you you could use, and it's too small. That must have been a really hot shower. But as soon as you leave, it's gone. Hello, how may I help you? And here's a cheapo room, which I guess you can just enter. Hey, look. This is why you jump around. Hey, look, it's the sleeping guy again. Oh, I'm so exhausted. I heard there's a casino where you can get big bucks, but I just can't find the place. Does it really exist? Alright. Good morning. I hope you were able to sleep well. I'm gonna be a dick. Actually, no, I'm gonna be nice. Actually, I'm gonna be a dick. What a disaster! Sir, I am so sorry. I hope it was not my service that got on your nerves. Yeah, you go tell the boss. Or, or not. Just don't do anything. Let's see if we can rest in the normal room. What does that do? Nothing. Nothing special, anyway. Okay. Did we use a flower box? I don't think so. Or a flower tab, really. Let's save it. Alright, so we're back in Marymoor on the outside. People are all waiting for a wedding. We were about to begin the ceremony when some kids, wearing dark clothes, kicked us out. Raz and Rainy. Help! Booster's wedding is in progress. We barricaded the door, so don't even bother trying to sneak inside. There, I think that's the one who kicked us out. This must be a first. A perfect couple who isn't going to live happily ever after. I give up. It was my dream to stay in the suite after we got married. This is supposed to be my wedding day. All my plans have been ruined. Hmm. Looks like someone looks like he needs to go somewhere fast. Probably the restroom. I came all the way over here to give these two a proper send off and look what happens. Who's the guy with the totem pole for a face? He and Princess Toadstool were No. Don't tell me they're getting married. Who's the nutcase? It's with balloon screaming, it's time for my wedding. Just who does he think he is? I'm the best pho I'm the best photographer around. Would you like a wedding portrait? I'm not letting you in here, and you can forget about the back entrance. It's locked. At least I think it is. Nice. He basically just tells you how to get in. To do speedruns of games like Super Mario World or Super Mario Bros. Sounds good to me. I don't know, uh... I actually, yeah, I could do that. I could definitely do Super Mario World. Uh, I don't know how fast it would be, since I've never done a speedrun, but... Sounds good to me. And we snuck through the back door. We break a cake for the big wedding. It must be masterpiece. Yeah, the groom to be ordered something special. Wait until he sees this. And he can jump on it. What? What? What are you doing? Oh, that's nice. You just stepped on the. You fools! I don't know if you can jump on these guys. Ah, I guess so. But you can't stay on, so... Halt! Who goes there? 
You look like Mario, but the door is shut tight. Listen, Mustache, you and your overgrown turtle friend can take a hike. Go. Scat. Make like Mario and jump out of here. Get lost. Oops. We've got a problem. I better go tell Booster. This part is pretty funny. It won't budge. Say, wanna help me bust this door down? On the count of three, we'll run together. Timing's the key. Ready? Here we go. And yes, you actually have to run and time that. Uh, so, Booster, sir. Mario's here. You clowns, you don't break a door down when in a room. Shut it, shut it now. Move it, move it! Flubber, no. Don't fall asleep. Oh. We're almost to a good part. Mario, is that you, Mario? I'm in here. Hurry, I'm scared. Save. We're pretty sure Mr. Mushass can't break in here, but that turtle looks pretty mean. He could be trouble. They have no idea what they're up against. I'm lightning in a bottle. I'm an earthquake in a can. I'll bust this door open in no time. Or not. You don't bring too much to the party, but... Why don't you help me here anyway? At least you'll feel like you did something. Uh, it is 9.08 p.m. I live on the west coast in the U.S. Oh, we broke the door down, but we knocked Toadslaw on our ass. Ow, watch what you're doing. Great. Now I've dropped my shoes. My ring, my brooch, and my crown. Booster, sir. Booster, I, um... Don't bother me now. Okay, everyone. The bride is growing impatient. Let the wedding begin. What's this? Water? Coming from your eyes? Are you leaking, my dear? Tastes salty. Booster, sir, uh, I believe that the bride may be, uh, crying. Uh, no, I live in Washington State, actually. Uh, I've been to California, but, no, I live in Washington. Two states above California. Crying? But that's what people do when they're sad. How disgusting. That stuff must be corrosive. It tastes like the sea. What could be making her cry, anyway? I believe she is crying because she has dropped some of her wedding gear. Aha, of course. She has dropped her gear. But those tears will ruin the cake. Make her stop before Mario breaks in. But Mario's already in. Booster, sir, hurry and find her things. We have to get on with the wedding. In the meantime, perhaps we can do something about the cake. Tin for good, buddy. You find her stuff, I'll move the ceremony forward. Hurry! Booster, sir, you're supposed to be on the right. The bride should be on your left. Just testing. Like this, right? Yep, it's 9-11 here. Uh, we're on the same... Uh, thing. Time zone. Booster, sir, I found the ring. Booster, here's the brooch. Booster, sir, I found the shoes. Hey, wait. Wasn't there one more thing? You're right, the crown. Hurry and get back the accessories from the Sifits and save Princess Toadstool. If you're quick, something good just might happen. So you have to track down these guys and talk to them. Oh, I'll look for the last one. You give this to Bowser. Or Booster. Got her shoes. Talk. Oh, I'll look for the last one. You go give this to Booster. Got a brooch. No. Come back. Oh ho, I'll look for the last one. You give this to Booster. Got a ring. And he's wearing the crown somehow. You found a crown. Oh ho, here it is. Hey, you're Mario. So, you've come to crash my wedding, I presume? Mario, you're finally here. Yeah! 
Ah, what is Bowser doing here? What a waste of time. I got bigger fish to fry. I know I'm in good hands when you're around, Mario. Here's a kiss for my hero. Oh, isn't that great? You're gonna kiss him when I'm the one who saved your skin. Me too, I want a reward. I'll take a kiss. Give me a kiss. Stop it, all of you. I'm getting so confused. I have no idea how you get confused over that, but... Whatever. Mario, let's start with you. I got a kiss by Bowser. So, now Toadstool and I are allies. I'll never live this down. What the? Now that's one for the scrapbook. Come Mario, let's go. Let's get back to Mushroom Kingdom. The Chancellor's waiting for us. Sorry to have kept you waiting. We've made the mo er, we've made the yeah, yeah, yeah. we've made the most amazing cake. You won't believe it. Here is cake. But where are bride and groom? Where is everyone? This is big trouble. The bride is sleeping? You're taking the bride away? But there won't be anyone to eat this cake. What? This can't be. We worked all day on it. You fools! Apparently they like saying, you fools. Stop! Stop! You can attack the cake, or the bunt, rather, uh, or you can attack the chefs. I'm going to go ahead and attack the cake. Hey, there we go. So we're smashing a cake. A cake that has a face on it. And the cake is moving. Puck, puck, puck. Ouch, ouch! What are you doing? Chef Torte, the cake's moving. Bass, it's not moving. Back to Vec. I know it was moving. Stop it! Stop, stop! Ouch, ouch! Now what? Chatorte, the cake's moving! Talk no more of this. No, really, truly. Why would I lie? Because you are... idiot! Z, it is not moving. Huh? The cake's alive! Run! See, I was right. Blow those candles out. Okay. Every time you attack, one of the candles goes out. So you pretty much want to just keep attacking. Because every time he attacks, one of the candles comes back. Okay, there go the candles, but he just attacked, so...
Raspberry. I've actually always thought that kind of looks good. It's got a lot of frosting or icing on it, although it does have a weird candy cane sticking out. And it, that's either wood or like a graham cracker or something sticking out, or a wafer sticking out of the side there. Either way, I've always thought that looks, in its own weird way, appetizing. And now we... And now we finish killing the cake, so... Maybe we ought to wait. This is Booster's wedding cake. It'll have a fit if we nibble on it. Hey, number one, where is my cake? Booster, sir, there's a 70% chance the object you're standing on is a cake. Huh? This thing's a cake? Okay, everyone. Here's the sumper. How do we eat this? I say we boil it. I don't know why you would boil a cake, but... Alright. Number two, what do you say? Way too messy. Why don't you just swallow it? What? In one gulp? That's easier said than done. Come, Booster. You can do it. Open wide, please. My nerves are shot. I feel like I've forgotten to tie my cord before a bungee jump. Here it comes. Wait! Wait! Did the cake just move? Concentrate, sir. This doesn't feel right. Mmm. Delicious. It's so good it makes me want to cry. Congratulations, sir. The wedding is now officially over. Thanks, everyone. It's a wrap. Let's go. Yeah. That was an interesting boss battle. Mario reaches level 12. 2, 3, and 1. Uh, let's just go... Oh, that's a tough one, man. Let's go with HP. Because it'll be over a 100, and it'll give... It's the most, biggest bonus, so... That was wonderful. Mario, you're my knight in shining armor. Finally, let's get back. Oh, what a day. Can you believe it? I almost got married to that thing. But I, I hope someone marries me someday. Toadstool, Princess of Mushroom Kingdom, has joined the party. Be sure to bring her back safely. So yeah, we beat the cake. Uh, we got Peach, or Toadstool, rather. We got a level. And it says, don't forget to take her back to Mushroom Kingdom. So let's see. Mario! That creepy guy just left. Does that mean we can go on with our wedding? Oh, Raz, I'm so happy. Let's get this wedding over with so we can stay in the suite and then go on our honeymoon. Let's do it. All right, you'll have to excuse us. Okay, everyone. We're going to start this from the beginning. Back inside, please. And you can actually go in and take a look if you want. That Raz, he found himself a real peach. I can't take it anymore. She's so gorgeous. Rainy's so beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? Shh, quiet now. I do? I do. Yes, indeed. Tis my melody, my tune. 
composed by the one and only and yours truly, Todovsky. So, Todovsky's at the wedding. That's cool. And you get to marry them. So, they're married. Yay. Onward. It's our turn next. I wish the people before us would hurry up. We've been waiting for 30 minutes now. It's going... Yeah, it's going to be held here? This is absolutely gorgeous. I came to see where the wedding is going to be held. I wish it were ski season. Pipe down and relax. Okay, get a little closer now. Ready? All right, one, two... Hey, you there. Why the long face? This isn't a funeral, you know. All right, on the count of three, say, ah. I wish those two a wonderful life together. Hope they don't fight too often. Oh man, is it over yet? I hate getting my picture taken. Honey, I don't want you to wander too far off now. We're finally man and wife. Best photographer around. Would you like a wedding portrait? I already got one. Thanks. So, something interesting happens. You're supposed to leave out of here. Actually, let's see what she wants. Same thing. Okay. You're supposed to leave out of here. However, if you leave out of here, you get to see what happens. Mario! The Chancellor is waiting! We're going back now, right? No. Mario! Chancellor must be worried sick about us. You saw him before. Come on, let's go! No! Mario. If we don't get the princess back, we'll be charged with kidnapping. Let's go. No. Mario. No one. No one is authorized to kidnap the princess except me. It just wouldn't be right. Let's take her back to Mushroom Kingdom, where she belongs. Forget it. Enough already! So they all get mad and yell at him. And... There you go. This is a little scene. I'm not doing that. Uh, but it's kind of cool. Welcome back, Mario. All's well's here. I'm gonna check with this guy, see if I can buy the damn Game Boy yet. You want this? It's only 500 coins. Well, sure! Want me to teach you? Yes, please. High score if you hit the shells with the stars fired from the beetle. If you get hit, recover by firing consecutively. Just do it. So you bring up the menu and you get this. Select a game on the menu and you can play Beatlemania. Well, please, please be sure not to cheat with a turbo type controller. And this is the mini game. You control a little beetle, you shoot stars um, at the uh, shells. The best way to get a high score is to let them kind of build up. And then you shoot them, and you cause a chain reaction. Like that. I already broke the high score. So yeah, just another minigame. Or you can just rapid fire, but you don't give very many points that way, so.
And the background is, of course, from Super Mario World, which is pretty cool. I just died because I'm talking. Oh, I don't want to retry. There we go. And, but yeah, that's pretty cool. That's what you get for buying the Game Boy. Alright, we're gonna save since we got that. Then we're gonna go talk to the Chancellor. Let's check and see if there's anybody here. Nope. Mario! Welcome back! You look like you're in one piece? The princess I'm finally home and with Mario and some wonderful new friends they saved my life let's go find the Chancellor lead on come on Mario we mustn't keep the Chancellor waiting I'm just gonna check this nope Princess hasn't returned yet. Can you imagine how the Chancellor must feel? Princess! Hello, Grandma. I'm back. I hope I didn't worry you too much. Nonsense, dear. By the way, have you seen the Chancellor yet? I was just on my way. See you later. Alright, so... We got Bowser. We got Pete, or Toadstool. We gotta go see the Chancellor. Chancellor! The, the Princess! She's back! Thank goodness. This has been a true nightmare. I'm a nervous wreck. I know I've worried everyone. But I'm fine. I can take care of myself with a little help from Mario. Come everyone, let's get out of this drafty doorway. Mario, I hope you know how thankful we are. But you must tell me one thing. How on earth can you trust Bowser? Trust Bowser? What are you talking about? Mario, what are you doing with... What's going on here? You guys. Chancellor, listen everyone, relax. Mario's got things under control. Y yes I see. Bowser, perhaps it's time you told us your story. What exactly did you mean when you said you had bigger fish to fry? Can't tell him the truth. If this gets out, I'm finished. Excuse me, sir. Perhaps I can set the stage in. The others can add their comments along the way. Princess, Bowser, and Mario were thrown in different directions after a terrible explosion. Something huge crashed through the star road high above Bowser's place and... and went... Kaboom! I think this is pretty funny because you can see Mario's lip, like, shaking. And he looks all crazy. Right into Bowser's Keep. There's a gigantic sword! Now, Bowser's Keep has been taken over by monsters who work for some creep named Smitty. They've thrown me out of my own... I mean... I decided to take a vacation. It can't do this to me! Anyway, I was working on a plan to get my house back when... Mario walked up to me and begged me to let him join the Koopa Troop. I had no choice but to let him in. It was pathetic. It's okay, Mario. We know Bowser's stretching the truth a little. And, Mallow, how about you? Why are you traveling with Mario? Well, because Mario is helping me find my real home, and my parents. That's why we're on the road together. What? This is dreadful news. Awful. Horrible. Wait, that was Toadstool. <laughs> I hope you find your real parents soon. And, um, Gino, was it? Why are you and Mario... The Star Road has been destroyed. I'm here to fix it. Mario is helping me search for the Star Pieces. I need them to rebuild the road. Star... Pieces? 
The Star Road grants our wishes. Unless we find all the star pieces and fix the Star Road, we can kiss our dreams goodbye. What? This is dreadful news. Awful. Horrible. Isn't it? Everyone had desk face palms. Indeed. For example, say Bowser kidnapped you. Without the aid of the Star Road, you'd probably never be rescued. Actually, that sounds pretty good to me. Let's just forget about these star things. Great, Bowser. Then you can just keep your precious keep goodbye. Huh? What? Huh? Let's see. If Mario can't find the stars, Tosa will be mine. But I won't get my keep back unless Mario finds the stars. So if I want my keep back, we need those star things, but... Huh? Run that past me again? Erg, Just ignore that idiot. I just don't think I can take a world without wishes. We need to go and find those star pieces. Now! Princess! You can't be serious. You're not thinking of joining them. Are you? I forgot. This is sheer madness. You're a princess. What will people say? I don't care. Things seem hopeless right now. I'm tired. I think I need to lie down in my room for a while. Mario, Mallow, Gino, and Bowser, you too. Good luck. Now then. Thanks to Mario, the princess is back. I now declare this date to be known forever as... Hey, wait a minute. You don't suppose... Could it have been this smitty who attacked our kingdom? I fear we have no cause to rejoice. In fact, Mario, we must ask you for yet another favor. Please, on behalf of all of us, you must defeat Smitty. It is the only way we shall ever live in peace again. Princess Toadstool is home safe, but she has decided to save them at the kingdom. All we can do is wait here. Don't let us down. Happy hunting, Mario. Excellent job, Mario. Excellent job, Mario. I'm gonna go check that out. Good luck, Mario. Princess is back. I humble myself before you. Standing guard. Yeah, okay. Mario! Please, Mario, take me along with you, please. Don't worry, Grandma helped me through this one, so no one will ever notice that I'm gone. So, let's go find us a star. Hmm. But I wonder where it could be. I have absolutely no idea, do you? Mario! At times like these, What should we do? We should ask Grandpa. My Grandpa should know. Okay then, let's do it. Just as I thought, Toadstool joins the party once again. Avoid fighting the pointy monsters up on Star Hill. Alright, time to save again. Almost done with the stream. Um, we're gonna finish up part three here. And we do that by talking to uh, Frog Fucius, Mallow's grandpa. I have the latest news, children. A large star has been sighted on Star Hill. It's the second mention of Star Hill, so we're gonna head to Star Hill. Let's see if there's another. I don't think there is. Can't wait to graduate from music school and start composing. That means there's no tune to complete. So we'll go back. Let's go to Star Hill. And 
there it is. Actually, we're going to go to Star Hill uh, on the on part uh, yeah, on part four. We're gonna go ahead and start at Star Hill. Uh, so I just saved. Um, we just, as a recap, uh, beats the cake boss and um, great guy, knife guy at the tower, and Punchinello and Croco at Moleville. Oh, but there was this thing. Remember we hit the green button on the ground? And it said to check out Booster Pass, so let's do that. Yo, Master Swag is back! So this was not here last time. Um, it's there because we hit the green button at Booster Tower, so let's check that out. Spiny. Let's check uh, status. Okay, Bowser's about to level up, so let's fight and get Bowser up. Two hundred thirty-six damage. Yeah, one XP. So we're gonna have to fight a few times. Welcome back, Master Swag. If I didn't already say that, you're just in time to watch the last of this part. Uh, part three, so almost done with part three. And it's been a little bit over three hours, so and you said most people stream for three hours, so it's pretty good. Uh, apparently, Super Mario RPG uh, was designed for play in a few hour chunks. Which is also good for Twitch TV, apparently. There it is. Bowser reaches level 10. And we'll go with the HP to put it right at 99. So that means Mario's got 101, Bowser's got 99, Gino is down there at 89. We'll go ahead and finish these guys off just because. I did just spend 500 coins on the Game Boy, so... Get a little bit of money back. And a mushroom. And I'll go ahead and use the goodie bag that we got way back in uh, that one place. Which gives us a coin. Alright. And I'll use the lucky jewel to get lucky. Double your coins? Sure, why not? Okay, I'm not going to fight all three of those. I'm just going to get these. Got a Caro Caro Cola. Golly, you're that famous Mario guy. If I beat you, don't make me sniff at four. If I'm lucky. Yeah, you're dead. Uh, now they'll make me take the training course all over again. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen that happen before. Alright, so, like I was saying... Actually, we'll go ahead and save here at Marymore, because it's only one step away from Star Hill. Save that shit. Alright, so yeah, Star Hill. We just beat uh, the part three, which was uh, we got the third star. We got 
Um, actually, we got the third star at the very beginning from Moleville Mountain. Um, we beat Croco first, we beat Punchinello, we beat oh, the Cake Boss, we beat Knife Guy and Great Guy, and we uh, got Peach. Actually, let's go ahead and swap Peach out. And then save. No, no, not that one. Five points. I'm the man. Alright, switch. And we're gonna switch Toadstool with Gino. And let's switch their spots. And then we're gonna save. Wow, good morning! Or morning! What's up, Vidoy? Vidoy. You are just in time to see me save and end part three. Um, okay, final recap. Let's go over what we did. We went to Mulva Mountain. We got the star by beating Karako and Punchinello. Went to Booster Pass. Got to Booster Tower. Found Bowser there. He joined the party. Um, we prevented the wedding between Booster and Peach, or Toadstool. Uh, we fought Knife Guy and Great Guy. That's the hill that you run up and bounce on things. And then we uh, fought the Cake Boss, so we got we beat that whole thing. Um, then we went to the Chancellor. We got Peach on our side. They said go to Star Hill, so that's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna leave off. Whenever I come back tomorrow, uh, we'll go ahead and start at Star Hill. Uh, that'll be part four, and we'll go from there. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to my Facebook in here. That way, you guys can keep an eye on everything. Um, bear with me just a second here. Uh, turn that off. Um, and hopefully you guys will go ahead and like this page on Facebook or add it or whatever you can do. Um, I'll also put a link to that in the um, Twitch so you guys can have a permanent link. But yeah, there's the Facebook. Uh, go there, add it, like it, whatever you do. I don't know. Um, I just made it not too long ago, so... Yeah, it'll give you an update on when all the streams will happen. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, thanks for being part of the stream, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.